The Vetkiss Micro Bone Plating System is a veterinary locking plate osteosynthesis system designed for very small bones. A separate tutorial has introduced the Vetkiss or Keep It Simple Surgeon concept as well as the implants and instruments. This tutorial will demonstrate proper use of the Vetkiss instruments and proper implant application to a plastic bone model. This exercise will utilize the 1.4 millimeter implant set and a pre-contoured 1.4 millimeter straight plate. Select the desired plate and cut the plate to length using plate cutters. Verify proper plate length. Select a 1.15 millimeter drill bit and load it into the micro drill by aligning the taper of the drill bit shaft with the offset pin in the chuck. After securing the plate into the proper position, pre-drill for the first screw insertion at the selected hole location. It is very important that the drill bit is perpendicular to the plate surface at the plate hole where drilling is occurring. Perform drilling with a pecking technique to avoid bogging or stopping the drill bit. Using the depth gauge, measure the hole depth including plate thickness. The depth gauge is read on the outer end of the gauge body. Remember to add one half to one millimeter to the measured screw length to account for the tapered cutting flutes at the screw tip. Here, we would select a 10 millimeter screw. Select the proper length screw and load it into the finger driver. Align the screw and finger driver perpendicular to the plate surface at the plate hole being filled. This is visually verified just as was the proper orientation of the drill bit. Thread the Vetkiss screw through the bone plate and into the bone. If the screw does not advance easily through the plate, then remove the screw and reinsert, paying close attention to achieve a perpendicular screw orientation relative to the plate. When the head of the screw contacts the bone plate, further advancement is not necessary. Additional screws are typically placed to stabilize the bone plate construct prior to removing the integrated screw drive shafts. Place two to three additional screws, verifying accurate anatomic reduction is maintained after each screw is inserted. With the fracture stabilized with the bone plate and several screws, the screw shafts can now be removed. Using the hex head against the plate as a fulcrum and the finger driver as a lever, rock the shaft back and forth along the long axis of the plate to remove the temporary screw shaft. Alternatively, with the 1.0 and 1.4 millimeter screws, the screw can continue to be tightened using the finger driver until the shaft twists off of the screw head. A combination of turn and rock is also effective for shaft removal. When using the 1.6 implant set, the rock off method is the only reliable shaft removal option. After verifying proper fracture reduction and bone alignment, fill the remaining desired screw holes with screws using previously described techniques. The integrated screw shafts can now be safely removed immediately after inserting each screw. Fracture repair using Vetkiss implants is now complete. Thank you for watching this video.